a pretty peaceful and serene backdrop for today's video. Now today we are in Cherry Valley, Illinois, just outside of Rockford, Illinois. It's a, about an hour and a half uh, northwest of Chicago, if you're not familiar with the area. Now today we're going to dig up a little bit of history on 9-11. There happens to be something here in this park related to that fateful day in American history, and we're going to go look for it right now. Now 9-11, September 11th, 2001. It's really hard to believe that it was 23 years ago now. That time has really went by fast, but we all remember where we were at that day. And for me, I was in college and I had just gotten to school. It was around 9 a.m. Uh, Central Time. And I had just gotten pulled into school and I heard about it on the radio. And they canceled all classes. Everybody had it on TV. And nobody really knew at first what happened or what was going on. We later found out just the extent of what happened on that day. And we lost over, I believe it was 2,977 people um, and then 19 hijackers. It was a really, really difficult and rough moment in American history. But the reason we're here is because there are certain places in the country, parks, fire departments, that have remaining pieces of the original World Trade Center wreckage. Um, there's not a lot of it still that exists. Most of it, from what I've read and researched, is buried in landfill. Uh, some things were made into memorials and monuments, but there just happens to be a piece right over here, and we're going to take a look at it right now. Now, there are very few moments on this channel where I have uh, had moments of being speechless, and this is one of them. I had to walk up to this before I put it on camera just to take a minute just the gravity of the situation and how many people had families that were affected by this and just so many people but world trade center and they have an artifact number this steel beam was recovered from ground zero and donated by the port authority of new york and new jersey this beam is a reminder of the terrorist attacks on the United States, September 11, 2001, dedicated to honor and remember those who lost their lives on that day. We will never forget, and we never have. Now we have to remember not only those that lost their lives that day, but also the numerous firefighters paramedics, police officers, and the thousands of volunteers, and just the unspeakable sights that they saw. Um, no words can describe it. I mean, a lot of the people that were volunteering uh, to clean up the wreckage and everything else have ended up with various forms of cancers and things like that. And it, it lasted, I mean, it's a uh, it affected everybody in some in some form even if you only saw it on tv it affected us as americans as citizens as, as human beings but this right here is a piece of the wreckage of the world trade center it's a pretty large piece and i don't know how many of these exist out there but when i found out that there was one in this location i had to come and see it and realistically you can sit here for a pretty good amount of time and just kind of taking in the sad element of history with it you know a lot of times we we like to try to find the good in everything. And this is one of those days in American history that really brought the country together. George W. Bush gave a pretty good speech that day. And they're reminding people, please no sitting, standing, or climbing 
on the steel I-beam, which hopefully people will have the respect to not do. But it's just crazy if you think about not only how long ago this was now, but just what it did to... I mean, things seemed pretty safe before that. There were always terrorist attacks. But after that, the security in our country changed greatly, whether it be airports, uh, government buildings, a little bit of everything. The world really hasn't been the same since. But this is just kind of amazing that this still exists, but it is a sad reminder of one of the darkest days in American history. They have a really nice memorial here, and it is beautiful that they, that they create places like this where you can go. Now that is a pretty short video for today, but there's not really a whole lot more that you can say about it. Um, you know, it, is a, it was a very emotional moment in history, and it's not one of those kind of things that a lot of people like talking about, even to this day. And there are a lot of people whose families were affected by it, people who, um, you know, a lot of people suffered PTSD that day from things that they witnessed, and especially, you know, the firefighters and first responders, uh, families of people involved. Just a very sad day all around. But I wanted to take you with me to show you this because I was going to come and see it anyway, and then I thought, why not put it on the channel so that anybody that wants to come and see um, something like this can um, track it down if you're in the area or, you know, kind of learn where more of these exist because there are quite a few of these memorials out there. But that's all I have for today for you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video, everybody.